Okay, this is a tutorial on how to update your NANDX, which is right there, to the new um, NAND Pro version 3.0. Um, I'm using uh, Uber Geeks tutorial on Team Executor's website, and I'll be going back over there. Notice that I've got um, the cable, the NAND to CK3 or CK3i. I've got the CK3. This is not the revision D version, so I didn't need to make a connection. Um, between a chipset and a point on the back. I think this is the revision E, but I'm not sure. It's a newer version. But it's still the CK3. And this is the NAND, uh, NAND Pro. And then you don't have to worry about the drive that they're sitting on. That's actually a, an external drive for making backup copies of my own personal disks. And you'll notice that I've got a molar cable that's attached to my computer power box got a USB cable attached to a USB 2.0 port on top and that's about it okay now we've moved to my computer I'm going to the Uber Geeks tutorial you look here you need a NAND X obviously you need a CK3i or CK3 Pro um, if you have a version D then you'll need to solder a point and that's later on in the tutorial um, but that point is right here on this corner and then on the bottom part of your CK3 um, version D. So um, let's go back to this. We're just going to follow this step by step. I'm going to put this over here. Um, first thing first, um, I downloaded all my drivers. I've downloaded um, NAND Pro. You can get those drivers here, NAND Pro version 3. You can also get um, all the drivers and everything else over here or over here for your uh, CK3 Pro in case you don't have them um, and those are the websites right there it says they're not um, required any longer but um, I did use I ended up using the second set of drivers the first set of driver drivers did not report as a um, COM port the second did so please make sure that you um, you have a COM port after you install your drivers. If not, you'll have to uninstall and then reinstall the second version of drivers. Um, so let's go back over here. All these um, all these sites, by the way, are already attached or are you can can be found here in links. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. We're going to open this up, and it says make sure you have your CK3 installed correctly, and the COM port is showing. To find your COM port you're going to go to control panels you're going to go to I don't like category, it's just a small icon you're going to go to um, device managers and then once you go to device managers you can look for your ports, your ports are right here ports com and you'll see mine are the second ones that I was talking about before on that website a prolific USB to serial com port, com3 is my port so I know what my port is for um, flash magic Okay, let's go ahead and go down and it says install the Flash Magic software, which I've already done. And it's just a normal install program. Um, like I said before, I've got it installed already, so I don't have to worry about it. But Flash Magic's right here, so we're going to open that up. And once we open that up, we're going to do exactly what it says, step one. So um, when you select device, go to ARM7 right here and you're going to go all the way down to LPC2148 press OK then obviously my COM is I've got two COM ports open one is one and one is three so I chose three obviously and then baud rate should stay at 9600 none for ISP and it says oscillator megahertz I had problems with the standard so I went ahead and, and did 14.745 and that seemed to work um, and then you're going to click erase blocks used by hex files and then also you're going to click on step 4 verify after programming once you do all that then you're going to go to browse and I went to my NAND Pro, my NAND Pro is located on um, my C drive so here's my NAND Pro 3.0 so I went ahead and opened that and ARM v3 is the only thing that you can select so you'll select that and then once you start, once you do that um, tick erase blocks, we've done that. Load the ARMV, we did that. And then tick verify after programming, we did that. You have to make sure that you have a verified, um, you have to verify after programming. Um, the first time I did this, I did this at 12 and I got um, an error in the verification. So please make sure you do that and then go ahead and press 
start and I'm, I guess I'm just going to program it again so I'm going to press start and it's starting once it's finished programming I'll come back and we'll, um, we'll see that it's done Oops. Okay, we're still programming the device. I'm just going to wait till it finishes so we can go through its um, verification process. It's verifying. Once it's done verifying, it should be good to go. Then it'll give me a message saying it's finished. Okay, now it's finished. Once you've done that, you're all done, and your Nandex has now been programmed.